Hey everybody, some gadget guy here checking out a cool new Google tool. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard for me to say cool new Google tool. Uh, this is Arc Welder. This is the app runtime for Chrome. Uh, we know that Google is trying to move more apps into the Chrome experience, the Chrome OS for those of you on Chromebooks. And then also view those of you using Chrome in a desktop environment on a Windows PC, a Linux PC, or on a Mac. Now we are looking at how they are going to be moving apps into that environment as well. And this is a tool for developers so that you can test your app in that environment. So you want to test your app, how it runs on a Chromebook or how it runs on a, on a Windows PC, you can now do that. But the first thing we're actually going to do is install Arc Welder. So we're going to add this to Chrome. It's going to check, uh, confirm new app, add Arc Welder. We're going to say add. It's going to pull this Chrome app launcher up. We're going to get a little uh, Chrome app launcher down here at the bottom. This is a pretty weighty install for the Chrome app launcher and for Arc Welder. It's checking the installation right now. Like all told, I think it just downloaded about 120, maybe 130 meg of information for everything that it needs to use. Excellent, so now we can launch the app. So we can launch the app from here, or we can also come down here to our handy little Chrome launcher. And this is where we've got all of our little Chrome apps. I actually should spend a little more time setting this up. I've been using Firefox more often of late, uh, but we're gonna hit Arc Welder. Welcome, Arc Welder needs to write files to a directory on your file system. So we're gonna choose a spot. I'm gonna set this up in documents. I'm gonna make a new folder and call it Arc Welder. And hit okay. And it's ready to run. Okay, so we're gonna add your APK. Like I said, this is a tool for developers. This doesn't set up a full Android environment on your PC. It runs the app through the Chrome browser, so we need to pull an APK. And you know what? I've got APK Mirror ready to go. This is actually one of my favorite resources for finding APKs. Uh, these are the actual installation programs that Android uses to install apps on your phones and tablets. So we're gonna download Instagram. It's gonna take just a second to do all of its checks. We're gonna hit download. That's an eight megabyte file. That's gonna be pretty quick. All right, now that that's finished downloading, let's pull this up. We're gonna add our APK. Uh, it should have downloaded to my desktop. There it is, com.instagram.android. And we're gonna open this. It's gonna scan through it. So now we get some options. We want landscape or portrait. I'm gonna say portrait because I don't believe Instagram has any kind of landscape orientation, which is still one of the dumbest things I can think of. Because I'm doing this demo in landscape orientation on my PC, I'm not gonna hit maximize just to make sure that this fits vertically because this, uh, this <laughs> laptop actually has a pretty low resolution screen. I'm gonna hit phone and now let's go ahead and launch the app. There is Instagram. Let me get rid of all this stuff in the background so you can see what's going on. This is the phone layout for Instagram. Let's log in. I'm gonna put in my username and password. I'm some audio guy on the Instagrams, but you don't get to see my password, ha ha. And we're gonna log in. Oh, look at that. There is the phone version of Instagram. And actually using the scroll wheel to kind of page through this is surprisingly quick. It's kind of freaking out if I do too many clicks at once. But you know, here's, uh, let me click and drag through some stuff. There's cars.com, there's the goodly, there's some spam. It responds really well to sort of these mouse gestures as well, where I can kind of click and hold to fling through a number of, man, that's really smooth performance. So here's Black Phoebe. She shoots a whole bunch of stuff on Lumia's. Double click on that, it liked it just fine. I can go into my profile and check out stuff. I can go into see who's liked my stuff. This is really smooth performance, guys. I guess the last test will be, can it shoot photos? So there's a front facing camera on my laptop. Let's see if you can uh, fire this up. Oh, it totally works. Oh, check that out. You, you can now use on a, on a Windows computer or a Mac or a Chromebook, uh, Instagram, that's phenomenal. Uh, let's get rid of that. So the only thing I might be a little concerned with is the fact that we've got to load that APK, but let's see what happens. I close this and let me go ahead and close Arc Welder. Now we have our Chrome app launcher and it loaded the APK. So let's see if it remembers the APK. So we've got a little Instagram icon now. And if I click on this, if it remembers all of our settings and it remembered my login, Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited about that, guys. 
that works incredibly well. So really, the, the last thing I want to try, especially on Instagram, if I just set up a new text document, type out, that's a great shot. Let me see if I can copy, the, oh, let me fix that. I hate it when I type like a psycho. We're gonna copy this. And then we come into here, and I like Nicholas's picture. It's black and white. We're gonna like it. And long press paste. Oh, that is so cool. So you can you can copy cut paste from your Windows environment directly into Android. I'm gonna give him a shout out there. That's a great shot, Nicholas. Instead of saving APKs to your desktop, you should go through and set up a folder like in My Documents or maybe even in your C drive if you wanna keep this stuff safe and save your APKs there so that Chrome Launcher has the ability to kinda tuck all that stuff away. And before I start getting angry comments about how I should have done this as a screen capture video, I really wanted to show how this works because we're talking about a layer of emulation going through the Chrome browser and then this is actually running on an older, this is my Lenovo Twist, which is an older Core i5. This is an Ivy Bridge Core i5. So instead of using screen capture software, I actually wanted to show you how smooth or how janky apps actually run in this environment. But uh, guys, I am really impressed with the performance on Arc Welder. As I've played with a couple other solutions for trying to run Android apps in an x86 environment, Android x86, I think is, is an example, or Bluestacks, and it works, and they always work, but they're kind of tricky to set up. Wow, guys, I'm, I'm super happy about this. This is phenomenal functionality, excellent performance, and it's, and it's running really smooth on my older Core i5 Lenovo Twist Arc Welder. If you've been wanting to play with more apps and services, you really like Android apps, and you want that crossover between your Android environment and a Windows or a Mac, I would highly recommend throwing on Chrome and then installing the Arc Welder Chrome app. You'll have to manually install your own APKs, but you'll have full access to the entire catalog of Android apps on your Windows, uh, Windows and Macs. That's phenomenal. So folks, I'll leave links down below this video so that you can get more information on Arc Welder, where you can uh, download and install it. And then I'll also leave a, a link to APK Mirror as I think they're one of the more reputable services for finding APKs so that you can install all of these services on your Windows PC. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe for more videos, reviews, and tutorials like these. And I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you folks weren't out there sharing my videos on social services like Twitter and Facebook and Reddit and Google Plus. So keep bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you all on the next review.